Hi everyone, this is AppChasers.com. We're continuing our series of explaining iCloud. Now this is Apple's service to sync all of your devices together, your iPhone, iPad, and your computer, so that they share documents across all of them. Now, one of the coolest features of iCloud is the iCloud Photo Library. This allows you to sync all of your photos to Apple servers so that you can access them from each of your devices and uh, make sure that you never lose them. So let's dive right into our iCloud Photo Library here. We'll show you how to turn it on in the first place. Let's go into our iPad Settings app. Now this would be the same on your iPhone if you're following along on that device. Let's go down here to our iCloud tab. And then uh, we notice here underneath iCloud Drive we have our Photos tab here. So we'll go into that. And the first thing that we can check off is iCloud Photo Library. Now once we turn that on, all of our photos are going to be uploaded to Apple's servers and stored there. Now this would also include our videos. So this is a great way to make sure you never lose any of those photos or videos is by uploading them to iCloud Photo Library. Now once you toggle that on, like I have here, you'll also see these other settings here, optimize iPad or iPhone storage or download and keep originals. So that's going to uh, make sure you always have enough room on your device. Um, it's going to just keep smaller thumbnails of the photos here if they're optimized on your device. And then if you'd like to download the original, you can do that while you're looking at the photo. We've also got Upload to My Photo Stream. Now, Apple has made My Photo Stream available for a few years now. Your most recent 1,000 photos will be kept in your My Photo Stream, and it won't count against your iCloud storage limit. So that's not going to pertain to videos, but only the last 1,000 photos will be available. And then lastly, we have iCloud Photo Sharing, which if you toggle it on, you can uh, have access to creating folders to put um, photos in and share those with your friends. Now, all of these features are going to take up storage. Now, iCloud Photo Library, if you decide to use that, is going to take up space in your iCloud storage limit. Now, in our first video explaining iCloud, we show you how to upgrade that uh, free five gigabytes that Apple gives you into a larger capacity so that you can store all of your photos and not have to worry about running out of space. But let's move over into our Photos app here on the iPad and we'll show you how to access some of these different features of iCloud Photo Library. All right, so here I am on the Photos app on the iPad and uh, right now I've got all my photos sorted here by year but we can go into each year and find the different places that photos were taken. And then we can even go a little bit more finite and go right into um, the different dates that these photos were taken. So it's a nice way to be able to um, organize our photos. But if you'd like to organize your photos by albums, you can always tap on the Albums tab at the bottom of the screen here, and you'll see uh, the different albums that you've created right here on your iPad. You can create a new album by tapping on the plus icon in the upper left. And this will give you the option to name it. And then you can store photos in there as well. Now right in the middle tab here at the bottom of my screen is a shared button. And it's got a little iCloud icon there. So we'll tap on that. And these are all the shared folders that I have with friends and family. What that means is that if a friend creates um, a folder here that they want to share with me, it'll show up on my device in this area if I accept that request. And uh, if I create a new folder that I'd like to share with friends, it'll end up in this same tab on their iPhone or iPad. So I want to show you how to uh, create one of these shared folders that you can send to your friends. So let's go back into our Photos uh, tab here at the bottom left, and we'll select some images. We can go through here and we'll select different images. I'm doing this by uh, just tapping Select in the upper right where it says cancel now um, and I'm selecting the different images that I'd like to put in this shared folder. 
All right, so there we go. I've got the nine photos that I'd like to share. On the upper left-hand corner, I've got this share button. And I've got the iCloud photo sharing icon here. We'll tap on that. And notice it's getting these photos ready. All right, so now it brings up this new document. Uh, again, it's showing that it's going to iCloud. And I can uh, add a comment here. So I'll just say, uh, check out these photos. And uh, I can select a shared al album that I've already created here. It's going to show me all the albums that I currently subscribe to. All right, and I can select a shared album here at the bottom. Uh, so I can throw these pictures into a shared album that I've already created or a friend has shared with me. Or I can create a new shared album at the top here. So I'm going to say a new shared album and we'll just say photos for friends. All right, there we go. And we'll tap on next in the upper right. Now it's going to ask us who we would like to share this folder with. So we'll tap the plus icon and it's going to bring up our contacts right here from our iPad or on your iPhone. So we'll select some contacts and then uh, you'll just tap next. So I'm going to pick one here. We'll just choose myself here to save that. All right. And I'll choose my phone number there. We'll hit next. And uh, it looks like it's ready to go. So let's tap post. And now that new shared folder has been created in our share tab in the middle here. So let's look for it here. All right, it looks like it just created it here, photos for friends. We'll go in there and we can see all of our photos. Now if I'd like to add new photos to this, we can tap on the plus and it's going to ask us what photos we'd like to add to that. But we won't do any of those right now. But we can uh, go into some other features here of this folder. First of all, we can select people in the upper right. And we can invite more people to this folder. It shows us who we've already invited. It's going to ask us if these subscribers can also add photos. So subscribers can post. We can toggle that on or off. We can also create a public website that people can go on if they don't have an Apple device and be able to see these uh, different photos right in a nice layout on any internet browser that they choose to use. So we can turn that on. We can also hit share link and then we can send them a link to that website with all of these shared photos uh, right on through a message or email, however we'd like to send that. And then we can also turn on notifications. So if anyone comments or likes or, or even adds a new, a new photo to this folder, uh, we'll get a nice notification that pops up on our iPhone and iPad. So that's how to use your iCloud photo library here and its different features right on the iPad. But let's look at it on the Mac and see how you can add photos there. Now that'll be discussed in the next video in this series. So make sure you check that out. And if you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and go to appchasers.com to see all of our app reviews and news.